Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel. I'm Chuck. And today we are reacting to what, Chuck? Smooth by Neil Ciciarega. He already knew that was coming. I could try to see, I could see him he's trying to read it. He's like, oh. um, this is a mashup track. You, you sent it while I was trying to. Uh-huh. <laughs> I try, I'm like, because <laughs> I would be a nightmare for me. And I, I'm like, well, let's rush him a little bit, see how it works. Um, this is a mix up, a mashup of songs that uh, potentially we know. So, all right, we're gonna jump in. Let's see how smooth it is. Shout out to Ren for the pick. It's been one week since you looked at me. Well, that was impressive how well that flowed together. I'm a huge, huge Bare Naked Lady fan. Ow. 
<laughs> that one hurt? There was like three songs going on at once. That hurt you? And I was trying to figure out which one to listen to. They they all flowed nicely I together. I know they did. Well, most of the song was great. It was that last portion there. Yeah. That finally caught up to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say, I love that they cut off, cut right after uh, Harrison Ford. Uh, no, take my shirt off. Oh. <laughs> and then Harrison Ford. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, uh, that's an impressive mix. I really like these. You got Michael Jackson beats in the background. Yep, and the, okay. So it was a, and then you had "Smooth" by uh, is it Santana and Rob Thomas from Matchbox Twenty? Okay. He was the one singing at the end there, and I was like, oh my gosh, okay. Uh, I haven't heard that song in ages. Right. So yeah, there was a, a nice little uh, mix up there. Um, I think it was Rob Thomas "Smooth" with Santana. I can't remember if it's called "Smooth," but Seven Days" by. Uh, Bare Naked Ladies, and then you had the Michael Jackson tune. Mm-hmm. Or if you listen to Alienate. Oh, is it Alienate? No, that's not right. <laughs> Annie, are you okay? Is it that one? The wind? No. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Ant Farm, Alien Ant Farm. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's a cover, obviously. Oh, okay. Then yeah, yeah, I know. You, you, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a rock one. That, <laughs> I think I've heard that one like twice. I've heard that's it. Yeah. Oh, I've heard that way more than the original. I've heard Michael Jackson's a lot. Way more than the original. It's better. One of the better cover songs out there. Yeah, it is. Um, I really like these mashups. I love them. Dude. Like, uh, I, there used to be one that was Superman by Eminem with Slipknot instrument and uh. Slipknot Instrumental. Oh, Fantastic. That's got to be good. There was a Slipknot one that had Pokemon as the intro, as the chorus. Fire. And then there was... That's got to be great. There was... uh, Oh, recently there was a 50 Cent in the Club mixed with uh, Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. And dude, that one fucking smacks. It's fantastic. (laughs) I was shocked. I'm going to have to check that out. I was like, dude. But yeah, mashups are, are a hell of fun. Yeah. And this was fantastic. The Chinese chicken part kind of slapped really hard. <laughs> yeah. Like, really hard. And and that abrupt Harrison Ford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was neat. This was neat. Absolutely. Where are you going rating-wise? Ooh. Uh, I'm going to go 7.4 playlist. Nice. 7.2 playlist. Very enjoyable. Very impressive how well that all fit together. Absolutely. Um, and made it enjoyable, too. Yeah, it did. I'm highly doubtful, you know, when you had your hits that you loved growing up. I'm like, damn, the mashup's got to be good to make that happen. And this was one of them. So. Yeah, oh, it did. Yeah. And I love the, uh, I, you know, when parts like that, that mess with my head, mm-hmm. I love them in casual listening. Do you really? Because I'm not dove completely in. Yeah. Because I'm usually driving or so you're doing like, what the else. hell's going on? And then it's just doing all that. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas when I'm focused on it, like I am doing these. Bothers like, you? Ha, ha, ha. What one do I listen to? I see. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a little too much for you sometimes. Yeah. Overwhelming. I can't say that we're sad about it. It's pretty funny to watch. So. I understand. Well, shout out to Rainierian for this pick. This was a uh, hell of fun. So, Absolutely. Um, and uh, funny. I know he picked him my, for my birthday month, but yeah, he kind of nailed it with the Bare Naked Ladies because yeah. they're a. I'm a huge fan of the Bare Naked Ladies. Really, haven't. I'm gonna pick them for an hour to spotlight coming up because okay. um, there are still some big giant gaps that I am not familiar with. Dude, that and they just dropped a new album too. Oh man, yeah. I've heard a few songs off, and it's pretty solid. That'll be fun. Yeah, so I think maybe March will be my artist spotlight of the month. It's I saw it on the list. All right, just kind of depends where we end up, but yeah, I like that. That's all I have to say. All righty, well, we are two boys. We have one brain cell. My name is Chuck. I'm Joel, and that was us checking out some Neil Ciciarega smooth. That was a smooth outro. Peace out. Peace.